In this video, we are going to start our discussion on minimum span interface or MST. In a weighted undirected graph, there may be multiple subsets of edges which connect all the vertices. Out of these sets, set whose summation of weights are minimum referred to as minimum span entry. For example, consider this weighted undirected graph. I have colored the edges in this graph using blue and red colors. These colored edges represent two different sets which connect all the vertices. Now we can find few more this kind of sets in this graph as well. Out of all these sets whose total edge weight is minimum is referred as minimum span entry. Okay then, why we need algorithm to find a MST of a graph? Well, consider this circuit diagram. In this kind of circuitry, there are multiple points which have same voltages. So the problem of connecting all these common voltage points together using minimum amount of wires can be solved by minimum span entry algorithms. In such cases, we can model pins in this circuit as vertices of a graph and current path as an edge of a graph and then we can find a minimum span entry which connect all these points together. Okay, for the sake of completeness, let me formally define the minimum span entry of a graph first. Minimum weighted span entry or minimum span entry is a subset of the edges of a connected weighted undirected graph that connect all vertices together without any cycle and with a minimum possible total wedge. Now if we select set of edges to satisfy above condition, our connections indeed form a tree, hence the name span in tree. For example, for this graph, minimum weighted span in tree or MST will look like this. These black color edges form the minimum span in tree for this graph. Okay, let's see the pseudocode to find MST for a graph. Now note that this is a generic or abstract pseudocode. In upcoming videos, we will specialize this pseudocode. In this pseudocode, A represents a set of edges which are going to be in our MST or we can refer A as a subset of MST or minimum span entry. So initially, set A is empty. And then we are going to find an edge which is safe for A and add it to the A. Now this two step is going to continue until our MST or minimum span entry is complete. Now the question is how to find the edge that is safe for A. For that I am going to use a specific theorem which involves the concept called cut. So first let me introduce you to the concept called cut. Cut is a hypothetical line which divides graph into two partitions. For example, in this diagram, red colored curve is a cut. It divides graph into two sets called set S and set V minus S. For this graph, set S contains all the black colored vertices or vertices A, B, D, E. Set V minus S contains all other vertices that does not include in the S, which means C, I, H, G, F vertices. Now you can see for some edges, residing vertices are in different sets. If you consider H between B and C, B is in a set S and C vertex is in the set V minus S. We call such an edge crosses the cut. So for this graph, Edges between vertices A and H, B and H, B and C, C and D, D and F, E and F, all these edges are crossing this cut. Out of these edges which crosses the cut, edge with minimum weight is called as light edge. So for this cut, edge between vertex C and vertex D will be the light edge because it has the minimum weight value 7 out of all the edges which crosses the cut. For some set of edges, if any edge in that set does not crosses the cut, we call cut respect that particular set. For example, if you consider set A which includes the edge between A and B, C and I, C and F, 
H and G and G and F, none of these edges crosses the card. So we call cut respect set A. Okay, these are the definition of the terms that I have already discussed in the previous slide. So take a note before moving on. Okay, back to our main problem. Our problem was finding a edge that is safe for A. Let me show you a theorem which gives us a methodology to find a edge that is safe for A. Okay, this is our theorem. Now there are many symbols in this theorem. Let me summarize what it says. It says that to find a safe edge for A, we need to have a cut which respects set A. And if we find a light edge for that cut, that light edge is safe for A. To demonstrate how this works, let me show you an example. Now our target is to find a minimum spanning tree for this graph. Initially set E is empty, so we can have any proper cut. Let me have a cut in this way. So this is our cut. For this cut, light edge is a G edge with the weight 1. So that light edge or edge between H and G vertex is safe for A, so we are going to add it to the A. In the next iteration, now we have H G edge in our set A, so we need to find a cut that respect this set A, so we can have a cut like this. For this cut, the light edge will be the edge between C and I vertices, which has the weight of 2. So that edge is safe for A, so we can add that edge to A. In this way, we can continue until we connect all the vertices in the graph. Now, one thing I should mention here, that when you're selecting a cut, always try to pick a simple cut. Don't try to have a cut which go through same edge multiple times. For example, doesn't consider cut like this because this cut go through the edge between B and H multiple times. So if you continue what we start here, you will get the final MST. So in this way, we can find the MST. So it's up to you to continue what we start here in the upcoming assignment. Okay, in the previous example, we have picked a cut in a random way. So if we do it like this way by selecting a cut randomly, it may lead us to suboptimal MST. In upcoming videos, we are going to study two algorithms called Kruskal algorithm and Prim's algorithm which solves the MST problem. Now these algorithms also derived from the generic MST pseudocode we see in here. The only difference is that this algorithm follows certain strategy to pick a cut other than picking it randomly. So in the next video, we are going to look at Kruskal algorithm first. Thank you.